So today, uh, I live out in the country. We have a lot of woods. Uh, we do a lot of pruning. We do a lot of fall cleanup. We do a lot of spring cleanup. Now, I've tried, I've tried uh, a few different types of the mini chainsaws because we do a lot of pruning. Like I said, we have a lot of trees. We do a lot of pruning. So, I was looking again for an upgrade. So, I found this company. Now, it stood apart from the others. And there's one important reason why. Now, this is from Mayan Mew. Uh, this is M-I-A-N-M-U. So, this is a company that is an innovation on making hand tools uh, little power equipment as far as chainsaws and stuff. It's, it's a newer company and they're branching out. So I said, I need to try that chainsaw and I'll show you why. Let's, let, let's open this all up and let me explain this chainsaw. Now, <laughs> comes in a, a nice little hard case, keeps everything clean. All right, so we're gonna pop everything open. All right, so here we go. We have the manual right here. We have a little pair of just light duty work gloves. We have a little cleaning brush with the, with the picket on the end. The all inclusive <laughs> safety glasses. Um, with the orange tips that makes sure you can find them. Uh, a Phillips screwdriver. Comes with a Phillips. Comes with the chainsaw. Ooh, which... See, every time you pick up a chainsaw, uh, you can tell if it's quality or if it's junk. <laughs> just just by the feel. Uh, and, and that's got that thick uh, plastic quality feel. So we got the chainsaw. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the most important thing last because this is what very intrigued me on this. You get an extra chain. You get the chain sharpener. So when it starts to dull out, chain sharpener. You get charger. And this will be part of what I'm gonna explain here in a minute. You get an extra bar. My Mew. So, and it, and it even gives you the rotation on the bar, which, which way the, the chain goes, which is cool because sometimes you forget. So, put those in there. Now, you got the extra chain, the extra bar, so you get some extra parts. This is why, when I seen this, I was like, that's something I have to have. And did I mention this was budget friendly too? There's no way, I don't know how they do this, when they sell these the the cost factor from what you get is it, it astounds me every time it just amazes me <laughs> okay now these are 48 volt batteries you get two of them and they're four amp hour batteries so you get two four amp hour 48 volt 10 cell batteries now these batteries are unique as well. They have the overheating protection. So when you're using them and using them and they start to get hot, they shut down. That protects your investment. So you get two of these. Now these, I, I have it written down so I don't forget. Now these are 48 volt, class C, uh, 2000 cycles a piece. So 2000 cycles, uh, 10 cell, four amp hour batteries with the overheat protection. So, <laughs> these are banging. They also have uh, the indicator. So when you press that, it lets you know how many, or how many bars is how many, what, what percentage of the battery it is. So these come halfway decently charged. Looks like three full bars and a little. So they come pretty charged. So, with that being said, this. Yeah, let's just do this. There we go. So, 
batteries are, are the biggest, my biggest pet peeve. Now, and like I said, everybody else is like 21 volts, 18 volts. Uh, they stepped it up a notch. These are the 48 volt batteries, which is totally awesome. So high output batteries. So now let's get with the chainsaw. Uh, chainsaw, like I said, it has that good feel to it. Uh, it's got the, the backsplash guard right here. That that way when you're using it, you ain't getting all that, all those wood chips in your face. So it's a safety uh, add. <laughs> they added for safety. It's got your quick adjuster right here. So once you use these, you could use it for two seconds, your chain is hanging down. Now, uh, this has, that's, that's why it comes with this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna loosen this up a little bit and then it's got this little tensioner. And then you can tension it because that's what chainsaws do. The chains, once you use them, they, they get slack in them and you have to adjust them. And the, for the first couple of times, you use them then after that you don't have to do it as often but every every single chainsaw made in america made wherever china made in japan made made in europe the chains are always going to be the same you start to use them you have to adjust them that's just how you do it and they and they make things quick you loosen you tighten you loosen however you need to adjust it and this is also how you replace it you take this off and then you you run this down, take take off the assembly, put it back together, and it even like I said in the bar it tells you which direction everything goes. So and you get extra bar and an extra chain. Now, the oiler, <laughs> the oiler is very important, and they made it to where on this one you can use just regular motor oil. Uh, the best thing to do is like 30 weight motor oil. Uh, you put it in here. Now this is 30 milliliters, 30 milliliter uh, container. So it doesn't hold a lot, but you don't need a lot. It's got a nice little oiler drip. And once you fill it up, you prime it with a little primer bulb. You just press that and it'll suck it in. And then it'll, once you get that first drip out the bottom, you don't do it anymore because it's self priming. <laughs> so, but you have to get it well, not self-priming. It once you start primed it, once you've primed it here, it's self-lubricating. How's that? We'll go with that. Self-lubricating. Now, on uh, safety features, you have this button right here. So, unless that's pressed, you can't use it. So you're gonna be pressing it with your thumb. Oh, it's got a, it's got a nice trigger too. You hear that click? <laughs> so safety feature it won't go off unless that pr button is pressed first and then you can go off on it uh, nice little grip it's got some grooves right here on the side for, for handling it's got good ventilation up at the top for the engine now let's go over the engine the the, the motor on here is 800 I got it right here 880 watts 100% copper wound power plant with 28,000 RPMs per minute. <laughs> so this thing's a cooker. <laughs> now, we also, like I said, uh, we have the battery charger. So right here on the chart on these batteries is a little charging port. So all you're gonna have to do when it's dead. Now these will not charge when it's hot. So if they start warming up, you gotta let them cool down a little bit before you charge them. And they take about, see, I wrote good notes. They take about uh, 90 minutes to 120 minutes to charge. And that gives you 75 to 80 minutes worth of work. So basically, you're gonna have a couple hours with these two batteries of solid work before you charge them. And then while you're using one, you're charging one. So by the time you're almost done, you get a little break in between <laughs> the next charge, which is kind of nice. Um, now, when you're done using these, you want to empty out the oil. So dump it out and dump it back in your container. That way, when, it's, when you store it, it doesn't leak and get all over the place, which these don't leak because if you notice, their name, Mamu, is up here, Mayan Mew. 
mind you, uh, is up here. And when you set it up like that, it sets it up to where the oiler's up top and they don't leak. So if, if you want to do it that way, I always just drain them so I don't have to worry about it because I slide them in like that in my toolbox and I'm, I'm done with it. So, and then, before you put it away, make sure you take this off, clean, clean out the little debris, make, keep it nice. It's a nice, uh, this is a nice little tool. So, let's hear how, I, th this is the most important thing, the batteries. So, a nice click, and everything's really tight. So, you can hear it snap. A lot of the ones, he did kind of, a nice little clip. See, now that's fast. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but that is fast. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So that's, that kicks. That is, that is a lot faster than the rest, I gotta say. Now, like I said, it's 48 volts. So this thing got some power, and <laughs> we're gonna try it out. So 48 volts, nice little saw, good kickback, uh, safety features. They always have to have the safety features to keep you safe. Um, and the 48 volts, the faster RPMs, the better motor, uh, to help you get done faster, to save you money. Now, <laughs> the deal you get on this is outrageous. You, there's no way you get two 48 amp hour batteries 48 volt four amp hour batteries <laughs> and the saw and everything you see here you get extra parts uh plus they give you the dimensions on the chain so you can get some more chains uh these bars are awesome so you get a lot and and even the sharpener now before you even sharpen these things <laughs> take it off and then you can take a sharpener and then just run them. Takes two seconds. Give a quick sharpen. You can do it before you start. You can do it after you're done. Um, keep it. These are tools. These are tools to help you. Um, and my and you is helping you by saving you money, saving you time, saving you effort. And man, this is a deal in half. So let's go try it out. This is the Mayan Mew, and this is a, a nice little piece of wood. It's about uh, maybe two inches in diameter. So I have a stump here that we've been cutting on for I don't know how long. And uh, all you're gonna do, now this is gonna be with one hand. Now this is 48 volts, did I, did I mention 48 volts? Nice and easy. Now the oiler, like I said, you're just gonna pump it and that puts it to the bottom. And now the RPMs on this is really nice. Cuts without a problem. And this is the kind of stuff we actually cut. Now let me get you a nice. So yeah, this is gonna do the job. And like I said, the, the speed and the RPMs and the battery size really makes a difference. Um, yeah, and I'm using the heck out of this thing. <laughs> uh, it's not, it doesn't get hot. Everything's nice and cool. Everything's lubricated. Uh, works great. Anyways, that's what I got, and I'll see you guys next time.